Good morning. Hello. It's Wednesday. It's nine o'clock. I'm Victoria Derbyshire. Welcome to our programme. This evening, MPs are likely to take the historic step of voting to trigger the process of the UK leaving the European Union. It's a big day for voters. It's a big day for politicians. And we're going to end up hearing more of this. England has saved herself by her exertions and will, and will, I trust, save Europe and the United Kingdom by her example. I personally should be voting with my conscience content in this vote. And when we see what unfolds hereafter as we leave the European Union, I hope the consciences of other members of Parliament will remain equally content. Also today, in an exclusive interview, we'll talk live to 18-year-old Chelsea Cameron from Dundee, who's written an open letter to her drug-addicted mum and dad, thanking them for not being there for her as she grew up. She says it made her ambitious, independent and determined to succeed. Her first interview exclusively, quarter past nine this morning. Also, emails telling you to do the right thing or snooping. Internet providers are contacting those of you who've downloaded and shared material illegally. Will it stop you breaking the law? Let me know. Morning, welcome to the programme. We're live until 11 as we are each weekday. We will bring you the latest breaking news as always and developing stories. If you're getting in touch, you are very welcome. We're going to talk later about rail fares and how confusing the system is with some trips costing more if you buy different tickets for the same route. Operators are now planning a complete overhaul. Before they do, send us your examples of baffling train fares. If you're getting in touch, use the hashtag Victoria Live. If you're texting, you'll be charged at the standard network rate. Our top story today. MPs will vote tonight on legislation that would allow the government to formally start the process of leaving the European Union. MPs debated the issue for nearly 12 hours yesterday and will have more discussions today. The government's expected to win, despite opposition from some Labour rebels and the SNP. Our political correspondent, Chris Mason, has more. We've got the latest news in sport in a second or two before that. The weather, here's Carol. Thanks, Victoria. Well, it has been a wet start to the day for some of us. There's also a lot of cloud around, some murky conditions associated with the weather front producing this. It's not going to feel particularly pleasant. Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Victoria Derbyshire. Welcome to our programme. 18-year-old Chelsea Cameron wrote an open letter to her drug-addicted mum and dad, thanking them for not being there for her during her childhood. She told us this morning in her first broadcast interview that although there was no such thing as normality when she was growing up, her parents' absence has given her the strength to make something of her life. Life is not sunshine and rainbows and thank you for teaching me that life is unfair. People disappoint you and there's sometimes nothing you can do about that. A lesson well learnt from the both of you. Guy says, what an inspirational young woman. I just sat here and cried as she read out her letter. Laura says, amazing bravery and powerful words from Chelsea on At Victoria Live. Heartfelt thank you to her drug addicted parents. What an inspiring girl. You can watch the full 15 minute interview with Chelsea again and hear her read the full letter by going to our programme page, bbc.co.uk forward slash Victoria. Also, tonight, MPs are likely to take the historic step of voting to trigger the process of the UK leaving the European Union. It's a big day for voters, it's a big day for politicians, and we're likely to hear more of this today in the Commons. England has saved herself by her exertions and will, and will, I trust, save Europe and the United Kingdom by her example. I personally should be voting with my conscience content in this vote. And when we see what unfolds hereafter as we leave the European Union, I hope the consciences of other members of Parliament will remain equally content. Also, in Los Angeles, police have made 500 arrests and rescued more than 50 women and girls in their biggest ever operation to find women forced into prostitution. We've had exclusive access to the LAPD's major anti-trafficking ring. We find minors every day that we're out here working. 
What sort of ages are these? Uh, we've had them as young as 11 um, and all the way to 17. Uh, 11's the youngest that we've had. Though. And she was being forced to sell herself yes. sex on the street? On the street and, uh, and online as well. And ever been confused when buying train tickets? Operators are promising to overhaul what they say is a baffling ticketing system to ensure that you pay the cheapest possible fare. Morning, time for the latest news. Here's Joanna. Morning, MPs will vote tonight on legislation that would allow the government... Thank you very much for those. On Monday, let me tell you what's happening on Monday. We've got a special program where we're going to look at the state of the NHS. We're looking at all the issues it's facing right now, positive and negative, and asking for your help for solutions. So if you work for the NHS, whatever role, whatever role at all, or you've recently been treated on the NHS or someone you know has we would very much love you to take part in the programme. It's in London this Monday, February the 6th. Do email victoria at bbc.co.uk to let us know you're interested in coming along and one of our team will be in touch. Thank you very much for your company today. BBC Newsroom Live is coming up next. Have a good day. Hello there. I think today is one of those days where it's an